guys, Crystal here with Sea Light Candles and Soaps. And how is my beautiful people doing today? It is early in the morning for me, and I'm already burning up. It's so hot here. Hold on just a second. I'm going to open up this door. Maybe we can get some air flowing in through here. I'm eventually going to have to end up putting a fan in here because it is just so hot. I can't stand it. It's so hot. I mean, I don't live in Florida or nothing like that, but still, it's humid and it's hot. All right. I am not piping today. We're not going to be piping. And um, the, the soap we're going to be doing is Cherry Bomb. And I've got this reddish crimson looking color. I just mixed red Fire Engine Red with black. And then we've got this uh, dark purple. And it's really, really pretty dark purple. So we, I mix black with purple to get that shade. And then I have a red color, but it turns pink on me. But when I put the black in it, it actually looks like the color of a cherry. So we're doing cherry balm. And I wanted it to somewhat resemble a cherry. And I got a little bit of a color of a cherry. I just hope it stays true in the soap. So, in my bowl is already my kaolin clay and my oatmeal. I'm putting in fresh goat's milk. Uh, my daughter and I took a trip to Blountville, which I know you guys don't know where that's at. I'm, I'm in Tennessee. And Blountville is about 45 minutes away from me. And we got a couple gallons of fresh goat's milk from a farmer up there. And I put it in half gallon size... Um, half gallon size mason jars and froze it uh, the last time I got goat's milk I put it in little baggies big mistake don't ever freeze goat's milk in baggies they stick together they stick to the freezer they stick to the food that you put them on top of and then the baggie gets ripped and the goat's milk goes bad and all that good stuff so let's give this a buzz <laughs> All right, that looks good and mixed. Now let's add our um, lye and our scent. Here goes our lye. Be right back. And from what I've heard, and my daughter used this scent to make her soap with, and it stayed fluid for a long period of time. So I'm going to go ahead and add my fragrance. And let me tell you guys, this cherry fragrance smells so good. Oh my gosh, I've never smelled a black cherry fragrance that smells as good as this stuff. Never. It smells out of this world awesome. It's very strong. So let's give this a buzz. Ooh, it's rising. There it goes. Now it's thinning out. It started rising there for a second. And I think I got it blended out. Yeah, it's blended out. All right. All right, now let's separate. We got to separate our colors out here. I know a lot of you soapers don't set, don't measure, but I just can't help not to measure. I just, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm a slightly a perfectionist. And I want everything done correctly and, you know, the way I want it done. I mean, what am I doing here? Okay. Alright, there's our red. Okay. 
and our purple and then this ours are white so I still got some left so I'm going to separate that out into these other ones because that one's got a lot of white in it oh my gosh this smells good I love cherries anything cherries but this cherry bomb just smells fantastic I thought my favorite cherry bomb was from candle science but now after smelling this one and I got this one from nature's garden I don't know it's kind of a toss-up because it smells really really good I'm just trying to scrape my bowl out here just trying to get every little last bit set this to the side so let's go ahead and get our colors in there this is my white there's our white and then put our crimson or our reddish color in there and our purplish color in there and then we'll give us white a buzz our stick blender here so there's our white now let's go and see what color we get with this reddish black <laughs> pretty look at that color perfect I'm just gonna add the rest of it here That looks good. All right, now our purple. Go ahead and add the rest of it. I hate pre-mixing my colors in these little cups because I hate to waste it. And you can never get all the color out of the cup never and it wastes so much color that's why I hardly ever do it oh about put that in my white all right so, yeah, I spilled it. Clean up my mess here. But look how pretty that purple is. And then look how beautiful that red is. That 
I don't know, it's like a crimson color. So pretty. Let's stir this and get the air bubbles out. So that's good. Let's stir our red here. I'm definitely happy with this color. And it smells awesome. Alright. Alright guys, my uh, camera fell. My tripod um, is about broke. And it's one of those little ones you can set up on the counter to record. But it is almost broken and it completely slid down on you. And I don't have another tripod that size to, um, to replace it. And so I'm going to have to try to find one. Because the only other tripod I have is a great big one. Okay. Now we got our colors in. Let's go ahead and get our mold. Can you guys see? Yeah, you can see. Let me move some stuff around here and y'all be able to see the pour. Okay. So, I'm going to pour some of it in. I'm thinking I'm going to keep, I don't know if I'm going to keep it as a drop swirl. Or if I'm going to chopstick swirl it. I don't know yet. So, start down low. Work up high. It is thickening up a little bit on me. Whoa, that was way too much right there my bad okay let's take oh no got put down in the middle of it let's take these off and give it a little bit of a pound down I think I might do a chopstick swirl I'll leave the rest of that for the top that for the top and then this 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 could be left for the top okay let's get a chop or skewer here let's see let's do this size turn it around Now, I think I'm just going to splatter some on top. I don't think I'm going to do any kind of design, really. Hold on, guys. Gotta get a paper towel. 
Okay. get in there. Alright, there's that one. So how are you guys doing this morning? I hope good. I'm doing fantastic. Didn't sleep much. Got up at the crack of dawn like always. Alright, there's that now for my white. And I'm spilling it all down my mold. Look at me. Just doing a little bit of a splattered top. It's been a while since I've done just a regular top. I thought, well, we'll do just a regular top on this one. Why not? Alright, that looks about all we're going to get out of that. So let me get my little skewer here. sure y'all can see. Alright, let's clean up the sides. Alright guys, so here is my cherry bomb. Pretty. Oops, I think it needs a, a little bit on this side here. A little bit of swirl. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to put her to bed and we'll give her a cut tomorrow, guys. So stay tuned for the cut. Crystal here and we are back to cut our cherry bomb soap. Here is what it looks like. Really pretty. And there from the side, I love this top. Really simple. And I used um, steric acid and sodium lactate. And this soap is nice and firm. It's not so hard. Like, it's not overly hard. But it's not sticky. And it's not soft. Um, I demolded it this morning. And it was less than 24 hours. Let it set out for a little while. And now it's done perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and get it in piece. 
And there's our end piece, just a little sliver. Let me see. That had some soap on it. There we go. So let's get this bad boy cut, shall we? And let me tell you, just standing over this soap, I smell it. And it smells gorgeous. There we go. There's the first piece. Okay, it looks like I went a little bit too far down at the top. But that's okay. Ooh, look at the swirl over here. That's pretty. I was experimenting with the sodium lactate, or not sodium lactate, but the um, steric acid. Look how pretty that swirl is. Oh, wow. Um, I was experimenting a little bit with the um, steric acid. Uh, I put steric acid in my hot process soaps, but I've never tried it in my cold process. And this is perfect, guys. I could not ask for a better bar of soap. It's perfect. Like, it's not sticky, it's not too soft, it's not so hard that it crumbles. It's just nice and firm, and just really nice to cut. I mean, it's doing awesome. And I absolutely love the swirls that we got going on. On the top. And just cutting into this, the smell, guys, oh my gosh. This black cherry balm from Nature's Garden just smells so good. I mean, just the fragrance is just like coming up and hitting me. And it's just awesome. Look, it looks like a feather, kind of. See that right there? Looks like a feather. Isn't that pretty? I like the color. The uh, red kind of represents the color of a black cherry. Um, I, I have a fire engine red mica, but on its own, it really doesn't go red. It goes kind of a pinkish color, but when you add black to it, you get this kind of maroon looking color. And I also added a little bit of activated charcoal to my purple too to darken it up. And I really think it suits it well. I think it did the colors just really suit the black cherry fragrance. I think I did a good job doing the colors on that. So, if you guys are looking for a really nice strong fragrance that's also pretty, this would be the one for you smells awesome and um and everything so anyways this was the making and cutting of my black cherry bomb and i think it turned out awesome if you want more videos then please do subscribe and hit the like button and comment leave a comment down below y'all know i love it when you comment i will write back to you but um i just got done doing a uh, cool water for men for a man soap and they accelerated like crazy on me um so i don't plan on doing another soap today i don't have any gloves anyway i need to go to the store and get me some more gloves and some trash bags but anyway until the next video guys i'll see you later Bye bye